guys. Okay, so we're going to try Nikki tutorials again, but we're going to do it along with Ohima. Um, if you do not know, she has a she's um has a page on YouTube as well. She's bomb. You need to follow her. She does awesome makeup. She plays in colors. It just works. So I'm gonna follow along with her. I don't have all that technology to do screen split and all that stuff, so it's just not going to happen. But I'm going to do it along with her and see if that makes me feel better about this palette. Because y'all know for my first try, I didn't like it at all. So we're going to try along with her, okay? So let's get started. just going to allow it to play we're going to prep while it plays because you know this is youtube i don't know how far i can go allowing y'all to listen to it and all that other stuff but hey let's prep while we do this because y'all know i need all the prep that i need anyway anyway that was a lot that was that was this is actually too much too much. Really? Okay, whatever. My skin is just doing whatever she wants. She is working my nerves, okay? Working my nerves. Oh, other eye. How are you guys doing today? I did my test today for this virus and when I tell you that it was irritating and painful, oh my god. This is not the first time I did the test. I did the test um, before I started working at my current job so it was required and that one was uncomfortable but it didn't hurt. This one hurt. Like it hurt by the time it was done. My nose was stinging and I had a pain in the back of my head from getting it done. Look, <laughs> that is ridiculous. Okay, that is ridiculous. Just ridiculous. I don't know. Maybe one second. Ridiculous. So, prayerfully, I ain't got to do that mess again. Okay? Prayerfully, I don't. We're doing red. It is a hot, 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 That's hot, Makai. fiery red shade. And I'm putting that in my crease because why else do you put a shade this hot? All right, let's see. Hold on. Maybe I'm using, uh, let me, let me see. Because I probably be using the wrong, the wrong brush already. Ain't even start yet. Ain't even start yet. Okay. So, I just have to be doing something wrong because when I tell you 
the way hers look. Just got to pack it on. Just got to pack it on. Just got to pack it on. Hold on. Stop. Stop. Because you're going too far now. You're going too far. Now, y'all know me. I, I pack on, but I usually blend out at some point as well. And it don't look like that is what uh, we have to do or we can do with this palette so that scares me even more with this type of palette but the intensity is there so i guess with me we must have been trying to blend lord 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 we're gonna do this though because we have a lot of color we in palettes and we love to play with color so what better way to figure it out but to watch one of the greats Uh, her, her, her line just looks so much better, okay? And it still looks so much more intensified than mine. But let me put the light up for you guys. Now, it might not be exactly how she does it, because I'm almost kind of confused a little bit, and we didn't even get that far. And I think I did a heck of a lot more on my eye than she did hers. I feel almost how I look. Y'all don't judge me, okay? All right. <clears throat> All right. Because right now, she done gone into the dang dabbit purple color. All right? Or the blue color. Amsterdam. Okay. Okay. So far, it looks great. I mean, it's not professional for me to try something to do it being irrational and see if it works. Sometimes it works out, okay? Sometimes. Sometimes they work out. Not blue. This is the one I wanted to put all over my eyes. I wanted to do a blue smoky eye. Okay. Okay. Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm, okay. First of all, this might be blue in the back here, but y'all not gonna con con y'all not gonna tell me that this don't look like it's purple. Oh no, ma'am! Stop talking! Stop it! Stop it! I say. It matches, it matches up with this one. I'm going to tell you all right now, this color is not meant to be blended out. Unless, let me try another brush. Let me try another brush. Let me try this one. This is a shade brush, but it is bigger. Let's try this one. I you know I usually use this on my lid, but because this one is just too small. But I love the shape of a smudger brush. I just need it a little longer. Condensed like this and packed, but a little longer. And I don't have that. Alright, let's try 
Let's try again on this side. I still see purple. I still see purple. Goodness gracious. But I tell y'all, this looks a hell of a lot different. This looks a hell of a lot different. It just does. It just does. Okay. Now, granted, we do have different eye shapes a little bit, but. And as you can tell, the brushes really do make a difference. <sighs> Man, it's that smudge your brushes. That smudge your brush. Maybe we can figure it out. Maybe we can figure it out. But this is where we're at right now. I don't know where she's going. I have no idea. But don't you dare. Don't you dang nabbit. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Because ain't nobody asked you to do that. That's what I get. This is what I get. So this is where we are. Just a difference. Just a difference. Oh hell no. So that it looks like a beautiful transition. Okay, I'm taking bend and a snap. I'm going to use that to blend out the edges of this red shade. So I'm taking our, I'm taking the shade Mukai, which is our, our first shade. I'm going to blend that into our, I'm going to blend that into Bend and Snap. So I guess at this point I can tell you whether or not the shades blend well together. The shades do blend very, very nicely together. Um, you don't have to like over blend it to get them to blend. I mean, you saw how quickly these, these two blended in together, you know? I am going to blend it up a little bit more because I'm going to cut my crease. And I want, I want enough of the color to show through Amsterdam. And I'm going to blend Amsterdam into our red shade. But I'm also going to blend it into the pink shade. Ever so slightly. Like, like, it worked over here, right? Blending into our... Red Look. <sighs> look. 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 Okay. They do blend well. They do blend well. See, when I tell y'all my first tries are usually just retarded and just wrong word when i tell y'all my first tries are usually terrible it's just it's mostly terrible especially when it comes to color because i color really scares me and i know not of what to do but i still feel like it looks like i don't know what to do you don't judge me okay i, I try and i try it okay i try it I am. I I am scared of this blue though. That that blue, to me, I don't know what happened right here because it looks a little bit patchy, and I'm going to assume it's more so my eyes, and probably the metal touching it because it was so small, um, because. It's not the same on this side. Now we are trying to just kind of blend them together in the middle where it meets. 
Now, I don't know if y'all heard her talking about cutting crease. Jesus Christ. I, I don't even know. Well, I want y'all to notice with with this base, the color here on the red is starting to go away. It's starting to look greasy because in the crease area. Um, and I guess because I didn't go all the way down, <sighs> but we're going to believe it's going to work. Okay. We're going to believe that it's going to work. All right, so we're gonna put the red back here because I feel like we're, we're losing Makai. Okay, so let her continue on. Since Endgame poster was released, nope, this I is feel like we missed something. But a fun slasher from the. Uh, I could probably watch. I'm going to redo it, but. Okay, okay. I am taking the shade Slasher. Slasher is like a slasher from this one, the blue shade inside. Slasher is actually a lot lighter than I thought it would Purple be. Purple color. Kind of a deep, 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 deep shade, but it's not. Okay, so she wants to use slasher. To marry these two colors up top to give it a better blend together, so they look like they're coming out of each other. I have not done this color scheme since Endgame poster was released this is i feel like this is a look i do or oh, this is a color scheme red and blue or red and this type of blue i do every time a marvel movie is about to be released i know you guys have seen it i actually love doing a blue and red blend it might be my thing i don't know i'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease because i still like the blue going away Okay, so I went ahead and added some of that green shade, which, anyway, so I put an eel um, right Anybody next ask to, you to touch the that. blue shade, because, you know, it's going to, both of them blend beautifully together, so why not? And next I am putting the shade Redemption directly in the middle, where it is brighter as together, so why nope. not? Stop talking. And, Stop talking. Stop. Jesus Christ. Look. <laughs> Look. Look. Somebody tell me why I'm missing stuff. Because there are certain ones that I use.
Now, I don't know how you're supposed to cut a crease without taking color off. Because for me, I might have to take this color off and then try again. But we're going to see. We're going to see, okay? That's not bad cutting crease. Not bad at all. I like the color on here. Okay. Alright. She went with the... What color is that? Because it don't look like the color I got in mine. Ew. Okay. So that's... The colors don't even look the same, yo. It really don't. But we're going to use the green color which looks teal on here. It might be my thing, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease. Okay, so I went ahead and added some of that green shade, which anyway, so I put an eel um, right next to the blue shade because, you know, it's gonna both of them blend beautifully together, so why not? And next I am putting the shade of Redemption directly in the middle where it is brightest and, you know, blending that in. I'm using a very, very small and precise brush so that I can keep the shape of this cut crease intact, okay? And yeah, next I to the blue shade because, you know, it's going to both of them blend beautifully together, so why not? And next I am putting the shade of Redemption directly in the middle where it is brightest and... Right? When I tell you it looks teal on her screen, it looks teal on her screen. I feel like I'm still doing something wrong, okay? I'm going to take a picture, though, and I'm going to tag her, and I'm going to say, I'm gonna, I did your steps. You guys, I'd be right back. Hold on. Okay, guys, so... This is where we at. I just went ahead and did the inside. It's different for me. And it's okay. 
but I'm still gifting this palette away. <laughs> I, 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 I can't. I just, it's... And it might just be me, and I'm pretty sure it's just me, because a lot of people do seem to like this palette, but of course, one, I'm not everybody, and my skill level and this palette just don't work. But I want you to see the difference, okay? I want you to see the difference. Do you see the difference? Do you see the difference? And she just does bomb work anyway, but... I must be using the wrong base, okay? I need to ask her which base does she use, okay? I, I, I try to love this palette. I'm just really trying to love this palette. So I am going to clean this up, do my face, and I'm going to come back. And, and that will be it. I'll be right back again. What do you guys think about this base? doesn't even look like I have foundation on. What does it make my skin look like? I am really curious. I used two pumps of my Makeup Forever. And this brush here is the Complex Culture Angled Foundation Brush. I did get this in my Ipsy box. But I love these brushes. I... I Feel weird using this type of brush it is a I guess because of the shape it's very different for me but I think I can get used to it because with it being angled I'm able to switch turn how I need to to distribute what it is that I need but does this look like I even have foundation on it does very well with my skin. If I wanted to, I mean, I could put another coverage on, which I know I'm more so for skin-like look, no makeup, makeup look. I don't like thick foundation on my face. My skin doesn't like it either. So, yeah. As y'all know, I have my texture skin, so there's nothing I can do with that. But as far as how it looks, it doesn't look cakey or anything like that. You know, it doesn't enhance whatever is going on with my face, and I do like that. So, I just wanted to ask you guys, what did you guys think about this foundation? Okay, so I'm trying the method of just using your fingers, and not so much, um concealer i'm not a big fan of having concealer all the way down to my cheek um you know i just i've never really i've never really understood it i've done it i've tried it but i'm not the biggest biggest fan of it and um i honestly think a lot of it is unneeded and i like i think it's unnecessary to use so much uh concealer at least for me, because I, like, my eye shape is my eye shape, you know, like, these, these are here, and I don't really have dark bags or anything under my eyes, um, I just, my eye folds, it's just, that's just how my eye, <laughs> that is how my eye is, and concealer is not going to change that treat or, you know, quality that I have when my when I do my face um but I really wanted to try I mean I, I think I overdid it on this side a little bit and they say using your finger because it heats it up just kind of helps melt it in your skin and I honestly like that I honestly like not having so much on my skin as well especially with me not using so much uh, foundation so that I okay all right all right guys we'll just drag that along a little bit down my nose 
actually, I don't know why I'm doing this on the rest of my face because the same, basically the same color as my foundation. It really is the same color as my foundation. So I really wasn't thinking when I used this one because actually we used this as a whole foundation on one of my looks, I believe. I don't know if I posted that video or not, but I did use this actual um, concealer as my whole foundation. So my nose is bothering me today and it is really irritating my nerves today and, and flowing due to me getting that testing done. This is the Press and Set. It's a Press and Set or Bronzer Brace uh, and or a Bronzer Brush. I like to use this one as a bronzer brush. I did buy a new brush for um, for a powder brush. Can you guys see? I really like doing it in my stippling it in my skin more so than doing this now that I started. And actually, I'm missing, I'm not, it's probably in my drawer. I need to switch out brushes to see if that will help with my makeup um, process because I really do like. I want to use another brush to do my contouring. See if I can get it more concentrated on a certain, on a smaller area. Because as y'all know right now, it is very much a big area. So, yeah. This is a cream blush. And I don't even know if I picked the wrong, but the right blush, especially due to what my eye looks like. And I feel like it's more and you can see it more with the lighting on, but hell, we already done put it on the face, so ain't much we can do. And when I tell y'all a little go a long way, a little goes a long way. Okay. I don't even know if we need to. I guess we can because we, we ain't using no shimmer. Not a shimmer shade. Wrong brush. Wrong brush. Where is my brush? 
Yo. Where is she? Look. I have a brush for this, okay? And it ain't this one. I don't even know if this is really doing anything. I have no idea. But we're done with that. <laughs> we're just done. We're done with that. Let's take you out because I might not even keep you as a brush. I don't like that type of brush. <laughs> okay. That's basically it. That is a basically it. Okay, guys. So this is uh, the final look all together we just did a brown lips and we got a colorful eye we did do blush and everything else on our face but with the lashes it is not that bad at all um i did put blue and purple in the waterline she did do an eyeliner um but i don't have different color eyeliners so i did not do eyeliner for this look i struggled a lot with the eyelashes and these are the um lily lashes which is foam make and yeah i did struggle they're not on fully completely correct and i'm not about to sit here and play with these all day long i don't know if you can see the sparkleness or not but i did put some sparkleness here in the bare areas since this look is really matte um but this is what the eye look looks like I like the concept um i just I, I don't know what i did on this area here i really don't i must not have what we're going to assume is that i did not take the concealer out far enough and i just kind of overlaid it so but this is the final eye look not too not too shabby not too shabby not too bad especially for my first time trying to put something like this together once again this is the um ohima's page and it is spelled, hold on, O-H-E-M-A-A, -O -O -E and I love her. I love her. She's African, but she does awesome, awesome work. Um, and I showed y'all what hers looked like. It was amazing. Let me, let me go back to the end so y'all can see what hers look like, okay? Ain't well, nobody asked you. See, do you guys see what I go through with my tablets? Man, with affordable rates, you... Give me a second. See, ain't nobody asked y'all to come up here. No, stop. Ain't nobody told you to do that. See, this is me. This is me going crazy over here, but... I want to show y'all what the final look looked like. And they are really playing with me today. That is what hers look like. Okay, let me make it a little bigger so y'all can y'all can see. That is what hers look like. I didn't touch something else on this darn screen. Just over it. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too upset. Not too upset. Not too mad. Will I keep the palette? Still, maybe not. Still, maybe not. Um, but I like it a lot better than when I first did it because I despised it on my first try. I did not like it at all. Period. I did not like it at all. So to be able to do this, it does work. I do like it. Um, but more than likely, I will not keep it. Because I'm just not, I'm still not overly excited about it. But I do like it. It does perform well when it comes to packing it on. Um, but y'all know I don't do a lot of looks when I have to pack on a color and leave it packed on without having to blend it um 
So I don't even think I want to do a third attempt for this palette. So I am going to pass this palette along. But I did want to come on here and let you guys know that the first try was terrible, disgustingly terrible. And now I don't despise the palette. I like the palette, but I'm not really, you know, excited about it. But I do like the palette a heck of a lot more than when I might, when I first tried it. And once again, the outlook, the outcome is not bad at all. So I like it. I think this palette is for people that are strong and confident when it comes to playing with colors and putting colors together and I'm not there yet and because I'm not there yet I'm gonna pass that one along um because yeah I'm not there yet that's why I didn't buy the color ring palette because outside of the pricing of it I still would have taken the chance to purchase it but I don't know what to do with all of those colors I really don't but I will say I do like the outcome of this look I think for my first time I did an awesome job which I know they say uh so back and leave thing recommendations but whatever I like it I think I did um a nice job for my first try putting all these colors together cut crease and everything else and packing it on but it was a lot of work <laughs> it was a lot of work it was worth it and I do like the look of it on my eyes but I have enough palettes to put all these colors together again so if I keep this palette it's because it's hers and I do like this here I think this is beautiful as well so <sighs> I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the whole thing. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. It does still, though, have a lot of fallout and stuff. I will continue to say that. It does have a lot of fallout and PCness in, well, it has a lot of PCness in the pan. Let's say that. Not fallout, but PCness in the pan. Because you're really packing it on, the fallout is minimal, which is great. But, yeah, that is it, guys, for this look. I really am proud of myself that I even stuck with doing this whole look all together because there are times that I just won't even finish a video because I'm just like, I refuse, and it's just it's too much. But one last look before we end it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed actually putting it together and watching her um, following along with Ohima and putting it together. Um... So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, please do subscribe, like, and you're always welcome to leave a comment down below in the comment section. And until the next video, I will talk to you beautifully different, lovely people later. Bye guys.